So we're back today with another uh, fresh meme that I have for you to uh, kick off the new year in style, I guess. Although the new year's already started, but you know, whatever. Um, I, w I did was planning to just not make any more meme videos until I reached Grandmaster, but I couldn't help myself with this deck that I really wanted to try. So here we are. So this is, of course, a uh, Iris combo. Iris combo forest with an Oberon finisher of last card is taken in our hands. You can't see it there. So, yeah, um, this is the list that I am playing. I honestly, I just like threw it together and then just like kept playing until I got wind. It's not. It's extremely, extremely bad. It might honestly be worse than neutral sword. So, if you want to go and play the deck yourself, um, uh, do that at your own. Uh, you do that at your own risk, I guess. Here's the QR code if you want it though. So the combo is very straightforward, of course. You just uh, Iris into Reign of Arrows into Oberon for a AOE like six to seven damage with uh, Oberon to finish them off. Uh, if you're very desperate, you can also use Babs. Um, then a lot of cards that he just cycles so that after you play Iris, you can hopefully find your Oberon. And uh, also a lot of control tools because you need to survive in the turn eight. Trust me, I did not survive the turn eight very often. Um, these cards, uh, Fauna Handler, uh, cannon are mainly here because they generate tokens so fauna handler can be both a fauna handler and also a very fun fact and cannon is either cannon or a fairy cannon also helps heal of course so um because uh the transmuted oops sorry transmuted iris does require um different forest cards view so you need to watch out for the different counts so yeah um <laughs> Of course, my games in this for this deck will be in unranked matches because I'm not burning through my MP for this meme. I worked hard to get that MP, so I'm gonna be doing this unranked. But I mean, it's a meme deck. I don't think you really want me to. Well, maybe you want to see it, but I am not expecting this deck to win a single game against against Mysteria, so I'm not bringing this into ranked. So yeah, um, uh, I don't usually use uh background music when I do uh, narrated games, but uh, I think the uh, opportunity presented itself too well, so I will be throwing in some background music, so I hope you enjoy the games, and I'll see you next time. Our first match will be against Haven and we are going second. Um, when you go on the unranked ladder, the ladder is just really a whole lot of uh, Have uh, Lena, Haven and Ramp Dragon. There's some other decks but those are mostly what you encounter. So um, yeah, we'll be showing the game against Lena Haven. This is actually the f first game I played with this deck I think and I, I just somehow won with it. Oh no, it was the second game but anyway. Um, so for Mulligan, we just hard search for uh, Iris because um, Iris's fusion requires them to be fused. For you to transmit her, you have to fuse her three different times, and you can only fuse her one once per turn. So you really need to find Iris as soon as possible to be able to kill them on turn eight. Because honestly, getting turn eight is a miracle. Don't expect for an extension. So we are just trying to find our Iris. Um, this card, this deck has very very major hand size issues because you basically need your hand to be full because of Reign of Arrows transmute effect where you have to fuse six different cards. I mean, not different, you have to fuse six cards into it at once. So um, we're very good against uh, Lena Haven because they don't really do anything. So we can just take our time preparing our uh, hand. Meanwhile, we are bad against every other deck because every other deck does things. So I'm um, gonna play the Licorice here. Licorice is very funny against Lena because if they don't use Aether, then they basically can't play Lena because uh, Licorice will just pop the Lena the moment they play it. So I've realized that, so that my game plan is while I'm trying to assemble my piece, I'm just gonna keep cycling the Licorice. So there is the. Uh, what, what is that? Whatever that card was. They had to play it there because well, they couldn't play Lena and they were trying to get rid of the Licorice effect. So we're gonna play the Ref Reflegia here just to draw cards. Um, it's okay to set the Reflegia, it's not really necessary to recycle it in this matchup, I think. Especially, we should be able to reach um, turn... Turn, uh, what, what is it? Turn 8, no problem. 
So they play the cotton kill Chirurgeon here, but then the, the, it also gets sacked by Licorice, so they don't get the evolve. So we're gonna go ahead and play the Licorice. And then just sack the Fauna Handler to it, so I can get the spells, I can get Fusing. I haven't found... Wait, have I found Iris? I haven't, right? So I haven't found Iris yet. Um, so I go ahead and fuse off some cards to make space for a Rafflesia straw as well as me recycling this Licorice. You only really need one Oberon. Hopefully your Oberon is like stays in your deck so you can like do it properly, but it doesn't always want to stay in your deck. Um, turn 6 just barely allows you to get uh, Iris to uh, uh, transmute on turn 8, but you really prefer not to do that because it makes you, your options for fusing into arrow, Reign of Arrows much more limited. So we're gonna fuse the Iris into the Iris here. And then we're gonna trade, uh, trade in this way, make sure that I can always clear this no matter what it banishes. In this case, I actually want the Fairy more than I want to draw a card from my hand because um, if I look here, I haven't fused a single fairy yet, so the fairy guarantees me having a new unique forest card. So I actually want the fairy, which is why I evolved the Babs instead of the uh, cannon here. And then here they finally get to play the Illuvia, which I guess they've been holding since the beginning. I, should, I, I don't know, maybe they just top decked it. I don't know. I don't know how effective that Licorice was, but I know that after this game I put one more Licorice back into the deck. So um, here we are able to pull off the full combo because... Uh, <laughs> Um, they uh, couldn't kill us because they are, I don't know, I, I guess they are probably Lena Haven without Lena. I almost accidentally fused the Iris here, but I noticed. I go ahead and fuse the Oberon here, I have another one in deck so it's fine to lose the Oberon. So there is the Iris, and then uh, Rain of Arrows draws me a full hand. And then I'm able to use these cards to just draw and try to find Oberon. And there's the Oberon for a game. So we go ahead and play out the Oberon here, his fanfare will evolve him and then we smack them for 16 damage. So yeah, that's this deck, let's move on to the next game. So in our next game we are going second against a uh, dragon. Uh, Ramp Dragon is the other uh, meta of the <laughs> unranked I guess if there is such a thing. Uh, this is super good so we're just gonna keep the whole thing. Um, even though Cannon will be a uh, against Dragon, it's fine. But even though Cannon does uh, is is a uh, break even on card advantage, we still want to keep her because uh, keeping her to play a Sapling Steward, make sure we don't have to play something else a Sapling Steward. Like wasting the Fairy on Sapling Steward would be pretty bad, right? But in this case, it's against Dragon. They don't really have early clear, so I guess it's fine. And this turn, I can go ahead and use the cannon here. I sink the fairy here, but I'm gonna get another fairy out of this cannon, so it's fine. We're gonna draw through our deck. We do have Iris now, so we and we have Rain of Arrows as well, so it's just about finding our control tools to survive into the late game, where we can finish them off. And of course, uh, find drawing enough unique cards as well to keep more handful, so Rain of Arrows can activate. So, uh, Rafflesia, Princess, exceptionally good going second. Uh, this card is a lot worse than I thought it was. At first I thought, I forgot that her, <laughs> the draw on her effect is also tied to her having, to, also tied to having more evil points than your opponent, so she only draws if you have more evil points, which is so bad, but uh, going second it's a god tier effect. So yeah, we're able to increase our max HP draw through our deck, of course managing hand of a lot. This card has a lot, this deck has a lot of fusion, which is pretty fun for managing your hand size. It's like you never overdraw if you're not like bad. Or like super brick, and you cannot find a single fusion card, which happens sometimes. I've lost a few games not drawing a uh, rain of arrows by turn eight, definitely. Um, I don't really need the licorice effect on uh against dragon. It's better to keep the evil point for uh using Rafflesia's effect to its full potential. So I go ahead and uh just try to draw through the deck off using unique cards. And there is the celestial god worm. So uh. I'm still alive for now, hopefully they don't kill me. Oh right, uh, they are not even at 10 pp so it doesn't even have to cause all the cards in their hand so it's fine. Uh, I go ahead and sink one iris here just to draw. You only really need one transmuter iris, the rest can be just used to trade, trade, trade out your hand. It also helps you uh, fuse more cards in case you desp in case you really really can't find the uh, rain of arrows. That's also what the one copy of Cutting Cat is. 
but I don't really play the Cutting Cat. Is it called Cutting Cat? Well, you know the one I'm talking about. Cleave, Cleaver Cat, Cleaver Cat. That's also what the one called the Cleaver Cat is for. So there's a Rally Dragon that gets popped instantly by uh, Licorice here, but they have unfortunately drew the Lowly Dragon off of it. So they were able to deal zero that. I mean, seven damage to me, but uh, we have a decent amount of healing. So, um, Lily prevents us from, hopefully prevents us from dying to some old Relic Dragon over Hyrule. Um, get rid of the Snowman in case it represents damage for them. Let me go ahead and play the Rafflesia Princess here. Just to, uh, I don't know. Make space in hand, I guess. I don't think there's any reason to play it. Oh, it's to make space in hand because, um, it's a repeat. I've already, I think I've already fused one. So that's the Cleaver Cat. But we don't really need it here, so we're just gonna go ahead and fuse cards for Rain of Arrows. I'm not sure we could have, I think we could have just went double Oberon here, but I guess I went with the, uh, the Luge of Arrows instead. Uh, if they had a bigger ball, we could use Babs to also help clear it. But they didn't, so we're just gonna go ahead and pop down the Oberon, smack them in the face, and that is this game. Uh, one more game. So we are going first against Haven this time, going first, our hand size issues are very very bad because we need so much and um, it's gonna be against Haven, it's big Haven again but um, A, my opponent didn't get to play Lena the last time and B, this one has a different game plan so I hope you will allow me to uh, repeat matchups even though I don't like to repeat matchups normally. Uh, of course this camera once again, don't play it early, just play it late when you can be used with like Sapling Steward or Bouncers so that you can get more card advantage out of her. Honestly, Cannon and the Nature's Guidance might not have been bad here, but I guess I had other plans. So we can just go ahead and put on the Merchant of the Wood. Uh, unfortunately we cannot run Asuka and Shuri because they are a neutral card, so we have to play Merchant of the Wood instead. Uh, Asuka and Shuri would like be infinitely better than much of the wood if they were run if I could use them at least. Go ahead and hit face. Now I can use the cannon here and then I will get the uh, fairy out of it. And then uh I don't think I had a way to control my hands, I just happened to draw the rain of arrows by luck, and then I'm gonna have bound the sapling steward here so I can use her more to draw more through the deck and find more cards. And then here's the uh, Great Wing Luminous from them, Luminance from them, and the Twofold Grace. So they are playing like a very hard control deck. Which is fine, I mean, I guess. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and evolve the uh, Merchant of the Wood here. I believe I used it to trade into the thing, yeah. I can't really ignore that bot too much because I'll die from taking face damage. Um, playing Thicket, of course, I I'm trying thinking really hard about what the fuse here. <laughs> um, playing Thicket would of course uh, clear the Amaterasu here, but I think I'm prioritizing drawing the Iris, cause with the Iris I literally cannot win the game. So there is Lena, they actually get to play Lena this time. Also I was trying to find Ligaris, but I couldn't find Ligaris either. So they got the Lena out, unfortunately. And then the Explorer of Mysteries as well, just to wrap it in. We take a bunch of damage here, maybe not too much, but it's fine. Unfortunately, our Rafflesia is significantly worse when we're going first. We don't have the healing and the card draw and all that from her, but we do have Pining for our home, which is, I guess, a source of healing. I think it's probably worth to keep Rain of Arrows against this matchup for what it's worth, because uh, some of their big followers can be very hard to clear without an AoE spell, and Rain of Arrows is uh, 6 damage AoEs, which is very valuable. So there is the uh, Divine Wolves. Unfortunately, we still haven't found Iris yet, so things are looking very bad for us. And there is the Explorer of Mysteries. And then we use the Babs to clear this. The, elite, <laughs> the, spe the spell uh, from Babs is pretty useful for uh, a variety of things. You can use it to fuse into. Uh, Iris, or you can just use it to uh, reduce their max HP, which will make killing them easier. Maybe you can get the overrun, this overrun lethal without even needing to uh, use a uh, rain of arrows, or sorry, deluge of arrows. I go ahead and bounce the bad clan, expecting to have to survive for a long time since I haven't found Iris yet. And I finally found the Iris, so um, at this point, 
I make a decision that I will have to probably sack my rain of arrows here. I'm, it's not gonna be usable in lethal anyway because uh, I will only get to be... By the time uh, Iris transmutes, I will be turn 10 anyway, so I decided to just sack my rain of arrows there and uh, probably assume that I really won't need it. Because it is a bit risky, but you know. I needed to clear the Divine Minister board. Uh, perhaps it's not guaranteed clear without Evil Point because uh, it might banish my heart. And yeah, they uh, deal quite a bit of damage here. I'm actually very low here. But fortunately, we have Babs and we just have to stall this turn. And next turn, we should be able to kill them. As you can see, I've kept one Babs in my hand, and that will, of course, become relevant later. But we'll, you, will, you, will, you will get to see. So I uh, use the Hornet to be clear. They are. Uh, thing. I think keeping the Rafflesia here was probably better, but oh well. So I go ahead and fuse. Oh no, I already had Rafflesia, then it's fine. Yeah, I go ahead and fuse. Um, if you look at my number of forest cards with different names fuse, it's six now, and I fuse one more to, to uh, uh, do the thing to my Sky Spirit, it will be uh, seven. So, uh, I can just barely play Obram at 10 PP after playing Iris. Uh, I would have been screwed if they had uh, the Goddess of Compassion or if they had uh, Divine Minister here, but fortunately for me, they didn't have either. So I'm able to oh, get this weird uh, lethal style, and so I transmute Iris here. And then go ahead and discard my hand. Daps will cost 0, or Grom will cost 2, which will allow me to get through their 2 wards. Uh, use the lethal stings. As you can see, I saved one lethal sting in my hand as well because. Well, I was planning to do this the moment I realized I needed to sink my arrows to clear the uh, board. So yeah, that's it for this game. A bit of a alternative lethal plan here. I hope you enjoyed it. And that's the end of the video as well. Um, don't try this deck, it's super bad. 